Inner Cuphead. Inner Cuphead. Inner Cuphead. Inner Cuphead. Welcome to the um, this uh, Q and A. I um, haven't done this in a while, um, so I thought I'd bring it back since I got some brand new subscribers. Um, and shout outs to all the new people that have subscribed. Thank you guys so much. It's greatly appreciated. Thank you for showing the love. Um, but yeah, um, I just wanted to start off by saying thank you all so much for supporting. And being there from the long-term subscribers all the way to um, the new subscriber. So it's greatly appreciated. So we're going to get into this Q&A. And, &A and um, we're going to kick it off. I got my sister here. And um, for those that do not know, we will explain on how Q&A works. So uh, welcome, sis. Glad you're here. Yes, yes, I'm ready. The first one is, what is your name and where are you from? Okay. Um, my name is Wes. Uh, well, full name is Wesley, but you can call me Wes. I prefer that. And I am from Raleigh, North Carolina, the big okay. NC. Let's come back to that one because I don't really know at this point, right now. Okay, so now we're gonna get into future goals. Okay. Where do you see yourself in five years? I see myself. Um, let me see in five years. I see myself performing and. Um, hopefully by the grace of god touring and performing my songs and i hope to have my at least by five years have a bunch of songs out on the following itunes spotify itunes i know i said that twice itunes spotify amazon speakers and amazon um at least a whole album so yeah or more Here's another question, Mr. Royal. Thank you for the toast. Yes. Um, what, what's something on your bucket list? Mm, something on my bucket list. Um, something on my bucket list. I would would love to do, and that would be to perform with. For the people that know who this is, I would love to perform with Ed Sheeran. And uh, the reason why is because um, he is my inspiration because of the loop pedal. And for the people that do not know what a loop pedal is, basically, it's a pedal that you can stack music on. Um, if you're using one instrument, say like a keyboard, you can stack all these instruments on there. And um, you can have yourself, basically, it's a full, make yourself a full band. And... Uh, my bucket list is to jam with them, uh, jam with him, and uh, meet him. So yeah. Okay. So that's the next question. Um, what do um so the first goal is um my goal is first off with the channel i am really pushing 300 subscribers right now we are sitting at 259 people right now subscribed so thank you all so much 
but my goal my small goal is I would I need one more to get to 300 I'd love to be at 300 but um, to branch it out to make it a bigger goal it would nice it it would be awesome to put um, to be pushing to uh, a thousand subscribers that would be awesome yes but my small goal is 300 and then once i reach that 300 let's push it to a thousand so that's why that's one of the reasons why i wanted to bring this quick q a back and challenge myself by making 100 videos on iMovie and for the people that don't know what iMovie is, basically it's a soft, uh, not a software, but it's an app on your phone um, that you can make videos with and put sound effects with and a soundtrack to your videos, which is very awesome and very cool. So yeah, that's my goals for the channel. Unfortunately, I'm not in a relationship. I'm actually single and uh, praying for a special woman one day to walk into my life. So I'm actually single. I do not have a significant. But the people that have a significant other, congratulations. And um, I wish you guys none but the best. But I'm not giving up, y'all. I'm not giving up. Well, I did have one, and um, if you're a long-term subscriber, you know who she is. But for a new to, um, since you guys are new, I will explain. Um, I had one close pet I was close to. Her name was Heidi. She was a poodle slash Tawawa, and um, she had a very beautiful coat. It was black all over, and she had some white in her fur which is pretty neat. And she was just an awesome dog. I got her for my 12th birthday and had her until about 2022, I think it was, or 2021, one of the two, because she passed away of heart failure. Um, and it's something that happens to small dogs. So RIP, and uh, if you're new, and if you would like to check out those slideshows, just scroll down and you will find her name with those pictures and you can check that out. So yeah, RIP. Okay. And this is actually fun. Forgot how fun this is. I'm having technical difficulties. It's all good. It's not registering for me. Oh no. Ah, uh, guys, technology is something else. I'll tell you. Okay, so. Okay, it's coming. It's slowly coming. So I guess I can ask you the question. Okay. Yeah, well, we're gonna go into like some random fun questions now. Oh, cool. Oh, you know what? We should have rotated and I should have did some too. Oh. Uh, well, I can stop this portion and we can add on to this video if you want to. All right, we'll be back, guys. Welcome back, everybody, to the Q&A questions. Um, I am Wes, and um, this is kind of like a part two on latching on to part one. So uh, let's get back into it. So now we're going to get into some random fun questions. All right. Um, so if you could switch lives with any... Um, a fictional character for a day, who would it be and why? Oh man, wow. Um, hmm, fictional character. Hmm. 
Hmm. Uh, let's come back to that one, cause I um I don't have an answer for that right now. Can we come back to that one? Okay. Yeah. Mm. What's the strangest food you've ever eaten? And did you like it? Strangest food I've ever eaten. Um, to me, I tried asparag asparagus, and it tastes very slimy and nasty. Something I'll never eat ever again. I didn't like it at all. Oof. Asparagus. Too slimy. Oh. Okay, we're going into our next question. So, right. um, if you had to sing karaoke right now, what song would you would you choose? Mm. Well, I would choose one of my songs from my library from my tunes. And it's a favorite group of mine. Um, it's from the Stylistics. And uh, let's see, what's this song? Uh, Thank you for us. A little bit. Just a little bit. I'm trying to uh, remember which one it is. Hold on, y'all. I'm getting the lyrics in my head here. Gotcha by Golly Wow is one of the um, one of my favorites. And um, oh, I wish I could find a karaoke version. Okay, it's uh, fun. It's fun. Hold on, y'all. Let me put this on pause and let me go find the version. And I can just play it low so I won't get copyrighted and sing along to it. All right, and that was my favorite song to sing. <laughs> um, anyway, um, so we are back um, for the next question for the Q&A. <clears throat> um, let's see. Your next question. Um, if you were a superhero, what would you... Sorry. If you were a superhero, what would your name be, and what um, what would you be? What would you be superpower? What would be your superpower? If you were a superhero, what would your name be, and what would be your superpower? Um. Well, if I was a superhero, um. I mean, I'm not much into the web thing, but uh, I would have to go for that Spider-Man because he's always saving the world and trying to be the big hero. So, minus the webs, I'll go for, I would like to be Spider-Man. <laughs> yeah. um, let's go to our next question, sweetheart. I am like drained. Mm. What's your favorite? What's your favorite? No, we're not gonna do that. What's wrong? What's your favorite meme? Favorite meme? Yes. I don't know. Yeah, let's let's go to. If you could become an expert in anything, what would it be? If I could become an expert in anything, what would it be? Um, um, if I was an expert and I could save, if I could 
see you. Just let's just say if I saw a relationship falling apart, and if I could save it for them too, I would. I would save all the relationships and help them work it out. Be like, what's going on? So basically, I would be try. I would be a saving counselor, I guess you could say. And if they couldn't be saved, then sorry to hear that. Oh, well. I tried, right? <laughs> well, um, what's the weirdest thing in your house? The weirdest thing in your house? Hmm. Good question. Um, hmm. Mm, I'm about to say pass. I really don't know. And of course, I never studied it. Too. <laughs> so I don't know. That's a good one. Alright, our next one is What's a skill you wish you had but don't? I wish I. I don't have this, but I wish I could drive. Why? Because my favorite car is the CRV. I always see myself driving a Honda CRV. 2013, by the way. So yeah, shout out. Um, so yeah, if I could. All right. Aww. So I have one more question. There's more, but we could just wrap this up. Mm -hmm. So, so what's your go to gun? Your go-to guilty food. Guilty pleasure snack. Um, my guilty pleasure snack. Well, uh, I'm not ashamed to say it because a lot of people probably love this. Um, I'm a big fan of chocolate chill cookies. So when I want to treat myself, I go to a cookie, chocolate chip, and... You guys probably haven't heard of this. Uh, I don't know if you guys have ever heard of Tim Tams. Basically what that is, is a healthier side of a um, candy bar. And basically you're still getting your um, sweet taste on there, but uh, it's the healthy version. So yeah, that and uh, chocolate chip cookies. sounds amazing well, that was all the questions that i had for you all right well and to wrap it up i will say i will find that song i was telling y'all about on my free spare time and to conclude this video i shall sing it for y'all uh, so yeah. uh, yeah, find it because i have 900 and 79 songs. Yes, you heard right. I have 979 songs in my library. So, yeah. I gotta make sure it's here on the computer. And I will be back and I will sing it for you. And that'll be the closing for the video. So, take care and see you in the closing.